Hello students, myself Ayushi Tank. I welcome you on Invira Online School. Today we will start our next part for chapter 1. Let's start in our previous part what we learn. We learn about four digit numbers. So the smallest four digit number is 1000 and the greatest four digit number is 9999 and we also learn about the number name for four digit number and face value and place value. Now let's start some more topics. For this part our first topic is expanded form. What is expanded form? Sum of the place values of its digit. So sum of the place value. Just take an example to understand this. Let's start. So here I write a, a number, four digit number. 9642. This is a four digit number. First, we need place values. Place values for this. Let's find out the place value. So this is ones place, this is tens place, this is hundreds place and then this is thousand placed. Now make a place chart. This is nine. So nine is on thousands place. So we have to multiply nine with one thousand. So it is nine thousand. Next six on hundred place. So six multiply by hundred and it's six hundred. Okay. Next four. So four tens. So it's multiplied by ten. So four tens. This is four zero. 40. Next, 8. Once. So, this is 8. So, this is a place chart for the number 9648. Now, what is expanded form? Sum of the place values. So, this is place values and now we find the sum of place values. So, this so here, let's do the sum. This is 9000. What is sign of sum? This is sign of sum plus next 600 plus 40 plus 8. So, this is called expanded form. This is the expanded form for the number 9648. Now, what is short form? Just take first digit. This is 9, then 6, 4, and 8. So, this is the short form. And this is the expanded form. So, what is expanded form? Sum of place values of its digit. So, this is the expanded form and this is the short form. Now, our next topic, our next topic is successor and predecessor. So, what is successor and predecessor? Successor of a number is the number that come just after. So, how can we get the number comes after? So we are doing forward counting. We know very well about it. If someone asks what comes after 9, what we have to do? We have to do forward counting. 9, 10. So, 10 is come just after 9. So, this is called Successor and then predecessor. 
of a number is the number that comes just before. So how can we get the number come before? We are doing backward counting. So which number come before 9? Yes, 9 and 8. So we say 8 comes just before 9. So here we have successor and predecessor. So let's find the successor and predecessor for four digit numbers. Let's take an example. It's 9645. Now, which number comes just after 9645? For this, we have to add 1 in the number for find the successor. For find the successor, let's add 1 into 9,645. So what we get? We get 9,646. This is the successor. This is the number and this is successor. This is successor. So, number plus 1 is equal to successor. Just like that, what is predecessor? Let's have some number. So, now, what is predecessor for this number? How can we get the predecessor? So, we have to less 1 to get the predecessor. If we are doing minus 1 from 7565, what we get? Yes, we get 7564. What is this? This is the predecessor of number 7,565. This is predecessor. So, this is successor and this is predecessor. So, here 0. Number 0 have no predecessor. So, here we have its number plus 1 is equal to successor and number minus 1 is equal to predecessor. So, we learn about successor and predecessor. Now, our next topic is skip counting. What is skip counting? In skip counting, we write the numbers with a fixed gap. We write a number with fixed gap between two successive number. So, for understand this, let's do some examples. First, counting by threes. We have to counting by threes. Write five numbers from 6082 onward. From where we start? We start from 6082. So start from 6082 and we have to write 5 numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So the gap between all the numbers are 3's. So we have to add 3. Let's start. It's 6082. So add 3 in this number. So, 82, 6,082, 6,083, 6,084 and then 6,085. So, our next number is 6,085. Now, let's go to the next number. 
So the gap between the, all the numbers are same. So we have to add 3 in the next number. So 85, 6085, 6086, 6087 and 6088. So our next number is 6088. Next add 3. So 6088, 6089, 6090 and 6091. So our next number is 6091. Next, 6091, 6092, 6093, 6094. So next number is 6094. Next, 6094, 6095, 6096 and 6090. Seven. So our next number is 6097. This is the skip counting. The gap between all the numbers are same. So take some more example. Counting by fives. In this, the gap between numbers is five. Write the five numbers. We have to write five numbers from 2,679. Start from 2,679 and then we write five numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Let's start. The gap between all is 5. Let's start. So, 2,679 plus 5, what we get? We get 979, 88 and 89. So number is 2689. Just like this, we add 5 and write the counting. 2694. The next number is 2694. Then 2600. 99. Now, 9 is a trouble number. So, what comes after 2699? What comes after 2699? So, this is 0. This 9 becomes 0. And this is increasing by 1. And it is 7. And then 2. So, this is number comes after this. So we have to add 5 and we get 2704. So we are doing the skip counting with the gap of 5. So we learn about 4 digit number, place values, face values, number names, expanded form and many more things. Now let's do some Practice now. We are doing some practice for all these topics in our next part. Thank you.